I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Dullum the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here at the episode 62 of our Digimon Story Cyber Sooth Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we did the Legendary Cup battle there. Um, I don't know how many battles it was, probably about 10 or so. Uh, different battles like one after another uh, we completed that there's still more to go apparently so we'll, we'll come back to do that another time first we're gonna kick things off here by going to the digilab we got some digimon to digivolve and then we'll go back to the uh, agency and we will uh, continue our mission that we need to continue so let's see here where Pokemon can digivolve it doesn't really matter I'm just kind of digivolving digimon building up their ABI so that I can digivolve them into ultimates and megas that need high ABI it's like these digivolutions don't really matter too much. Uh, just gotta quickly do it real quick. Uh, you can't digivolve yet. Poyomon. Doesn't matter. We'll do Buka. That's fine. Um, this will take about two seconds. Uh, we'll, we'll do. Uh, I don't know. We'll do Teruimon. Um, and these guys, Betamon, uh, Otamamon, let's go Drachmon, and let's go Dor- uh, no we just did that, let's go Dorumon. Go back to the agency real quick. Yeah, we got a bunch of medals for doing it, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how many more cups there are. I mean, you would like, like after legendary, what else can you really do? Mega legendary? <laughs> like, there can't be too many cup battles left, I would imagine, but who knows? All right, going back in here. Yep, there's our new case. Four star ghost cat building. Old man Mitsushima. We're continuing where we left off a couple episodes ago with the old man, the man, the myth, the legend. Um, Pete has gone missing. He mentioned Miko. So I'm thinking um, our boy Pete might actually be his cat by the looks of things. We're going to get a memory up, so that's always good. All right, so let's jump right into it. This case comes in from Old Man Mizushima. You might remember him in one of the legends. Yep, he was the one behind the urban legends. Yep, yep, yep. It well and truly is a small world out there, even when it feels bigger than ever in some ways. Anyways, he's tasked with dragging down his cat. Frankly, during times like this, there's something to be said for a down to earth gig like this one. Alright, so he's at the K Cafe. Because if you remember, uh, I think a couple episodes ago it was, I don't think it was last episode, we ran into Pete, our Wanyamon, in the hallway, and then he just disappeared. Um, so I'm thinking, he may have been a cat. The K-Cafe is on the third floor, right? Not the second. Grab a metal while we're at it. It may be on the fourth floor, now that I think about it. I thought it was on the uh, third. Yep. Whoops. Grab mobile metal. So soon I'm on. While we're here, we'll talk to Hank Hill here, see uh, what we got for medals. I've completed the whole Celestial Digimon Metal Collection. Nice. Good shit. 
Alright, so let's take a look at the collection. So we're currently at 28%. Jeez, we still have so much to go through, man. We have 196 out of 700. Jeez, man. I, I still plan on completing this. I just don't know how we're going to go about it just yet. <laughs> I'm not sure. We might have, I might have to look into that a little bit so we can kind of break it up a little bit so we're not just doing 30 episodes hunting for metals. Um, I'll figure that out uh, off camera at some point. But for now, let's go to the K-Cafe. Got a bit of an earthquake situation, it sounds like. Welcome, grab a drink, have a seat, and stay as long as you like. Okay. Weird. Alright. Early morning. Alright, back to the K Cafe again. This time I'll take the elevator straight to the fourth floor. There he is. Oh, it's you again. Been waiting, you know. Mm -hmm. My Miko, you see, he's inside this wall here. Strong digital wave vibrations. Interesting. Hey, it's Pete. What happened? Interesting. So Pete was his cat, but something happened between them. Hold on, I switch my team up a little bit. Gato and Black Auto Mon, okay. So auto attack, how, how strong are these cats? Okay, not very, okay. Crack that whip! There's an item down here. HP spray. Doesn't look like there's an item here. Nice, uh, Monze Mons, yeah. Let's guard.
before we move forward, let's pop down here real quick. Make sure we don't miss any items. Windguard. Um, go down this way. I see an item in the distance. <clears throat> it looks like it's to the left of us. Okay, we went the right way, so let's go to the left. Friendship. I don't think there's anything to the left from here. I think this is just like going back to where we kind of uh, broke off earlier. Yeah, it definitely does. Monzaemon. Sure. Why? Why do you have to know who I really am? Interesting. There's a lot of different portals here. There's at least one item. What's this? Nanako Broadway Construction Part 1. The construction plans for Nakano Broadway were announced in 1959. Oh, wow. She decided to call me Pete. Oh, no, is it the baby that died? Alright, well let's, uh, there's an item here that we need to get. At least one. Definitely want to make sure we get that. I 
guess we'll slowly just make our way down and try all the little portals. Okay, there's the firewall. Or the data. No blueprints exist for NB. 1961 saw the Japanese government commence its income doubling plan. Yoshito really likes his girl named Fuyumi Yuki. Item, escape gate, part His full name is Yoshido Mizushima. without Rune Forest level 3. Over here, I don't know if there's a data thing. Part four. Because a girl's name, but Yoshito gave it to me, so I love it. Oh, 
missed. Uh, just hit you with this auto attack. Just came from that, right? No, no, no. Okay, so those portals have been entered. Alright, so we can go here to one of those portals, or we can go to this one. Let's go to this one first, I guess. Alright, there's that chest we haven't opened yet. So we need to go down below. Part five. Once housed a vacuum two computer. At the end of World War Two by war criminals, we made an arrest. Okay, being in the dark, I'm not scared of it or anything, but it's never been this dark before. We haven't explored this entire area yet, so let's before we talk to one. Um, where the hell am I? Oh wait, did we? No, no, no. There's a bit down here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, I could have sworn there was more that we haven't explored. Okay, we've been up here. Oh, did one of the portals up there teleport us down here? Maybe. So 
Just want to make sure we don't miss an item. Let's talk to Pete. I mean, it could be either one, Pete or Miko. I'm gonna say Pete. Oh, we have to battle? Oh, I don't want to fight Pete. I goofed. I goofed. Don't make me fight Pete. I just thought maybe he would want to be called Pete because he told me he didn't want to know who he was. Yoshito is my friend. Pete is your friend. Yoshito is calling out for me. He's been looking for me this whole time. He found me. Hmm. I don't have to worry about any broken coffee cups. Hee hee hee. Back when the vacuum tube computer room was still around, I lived here in this building away from my family. So, was Miko a regular cat? Died and then became a Digimon? I don't... <laughs> they're not very clear with that. But I'm going to assume that's what happened. That or he was working on computer stuff and he came out as a Digimon. I have no idea. It was actually a cat named Miko. Sealed deep inside a wall. And sent me in the building's intranet. Or rather the power of its ley line. Ah, okay. So they explained it right here. So that's exactly what happened. The old cat's had a hell of a life, wouldn't you agree, Ruby? Yep. That's a good question. I think someone would have, something would have gone differently. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm curious. Interesting. Pete's like, no, don't do it. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So he was a ghost then. Is that, is that what she's insinuating? The spirit world and the world of the living, the normal and the surreal, now the physical and the digital. Truly nothing is impossible in this crazy hole in the wall we call home. Interesting. Very cool. So we got our memory up. Yeah, I'm gonna miss old Pete. Now let's leave and see if anything happens. Yep. It's Arida. Come to Odaiba. Suedu said there's a weakened Examon will be heading back there. Chance to feed Examon helps, Suedu. Listen up though, come alone. Don't tell Kyoko or anyone else, just you. I don't trust Arda. Is he gonna try to absorb us? Well, guys, that's the perfect time to end the episode. Uh, next episode, we'll go to Odeba. We'll see what Arda wants. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm the Maverick Daniels. Being you farewell, peace, and one love. Bang!